Okay, so let's learn and practice how to add positive and negative numbers. Now, the best way to learn math is to learn it one skill at a time. So in this video, we're going to stay focused on making adding positive and negative numbers easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So before I show you how to add positive and negative numbers, let's just see how much you know with this simple example right here. Okay, so we have negative 7 plus a positive 10. What is the answer? Matter of fact, if you know the correct solution, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But uh, the right answer here is a positive 3. Okay, so if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. Nice work. Now, adding positive and negative numbers is not that difficult. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you three different uh, ways or approaches you can take to add a positive number and a negative number. So the first way to add a positive number with a negative number is very easy. Matter of fact, all these uh, methods are easy. So anytime you are adding a negative number with a positive number or a positive, no positive number with a negative number, you're going to effectively be subtracting the two numbers involved. So we're going to have to find the difference between 7 and 10. Now we know the answer is going to be 3, but uh, we're just not quite sure whether the final answer is a positive or negative 3. Well, to answer that question, all we have to do is take a look at these numbers and uh, kind of ask ourselves, which is the larger number? Which number is greater? Well, 10 is greater, and the sign of 10 is positive, so our final answer here is a positive 3. Now, another way to add positive and negative numbers is to think about a number line. Okay, so numbers to the left of 0 are negative, and numbers to the right of 0 are positive. So what we can do is actually plot this number here, negative 7. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So right here is negative 7 on the number line. So matter of fact, let me just write that a bit clearer. Okay, so there is our negative 7. Now what we want to do here is add a positive 10 to this negative 7. So that means we're going to go in the positive direction, 10 units. So when we do that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We land at a positive 3. Okay, so negative 7 plus a positive 10 is equal to a positive 3. All right, so now we have two different methods. I'm going to show you uh, this last method, uh, which is kind of like my favorite uh, approach to teaching how to add positive and negative numbers. So I think the easiest way to remember how to add positive and negative numbers is to think of these numbers in terms of money. All right, so a negative number is like having debt. It's like money that you owe, and a positive number is like money that you have. So if you owe someone $7 and you have $10, well, you have to pay them back uh, $7, and you're left with uh, $3, or positive $3 to your name. Okay, so using money as a simple uh, model to add positive and negative numbers is very useful. But uh, if you like these other methods, that's fantastic. And uh, now that we uh, kind of covered how to add positive and negative numbers, let's do a few practice problems. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so here are three easy practice problems. Matter of fact, uh, most of you can do these in your head and uh, use any model that I showed you to uh, add these numbers together. All right, so here we go. We have negative 12 
plus a positive 10. So as I indicated, I really like this uh, money model. So if I owe someone $12 and I have $10, well, I still owe them uh, $2, right? So I'm going to subtract these two numbers, and the greater number is negative. So the final answer here is negative 2. All right, so here now is a uh, kind of a twist on what we're doing because now we have a negative number plus a negative number. All right, so what do you think the answer is? Well, negative 3 plus a negative 6 is a negative 9. So if I owe someone uh, $3 and then I owe another person $6, well, I owe a total of $9 in debt. Okay, so again, you know, we are talking about adding positive and negative numbers, but uh, once you understand uh, these concepts, then you can kind of apply this to adding negative numbers as well. All right, so our final little problem here is 8 plus, or a positive 8, plus a negative 4. And the answer here is a positive 4. So if I have $8 and I owe someone $4, well, I get to keep $4 or positive $4. All right, now, if you got all of these right, well, that is fantastic. You're going to get another happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you got a few wrong, or if you're still working on this, well, I'm going to give you an A+, plus as well, for trying. Okay, so don't give up. And, uh, you know, the thing here is to review this little lesson and, um, you know, just kind of go through and pick a model that uh, you understand. But uh, the most important thing is you got to practice these skills in order to kind of retain them. All right, so again, adding positive and negative numbers is a critical skill that you definitely need to know in math. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.